that. Some man Patu live and direct on the scene with Brother Cairo. Drop it, brother. Now, what happened was, um, I got a phone call from one of my nieces, right? Now, my brother is doing 50 to life in, um, in California. His daughter called me yesterday. She found me on Facebook and called me yesterday, right? And she told me, she said, hi. She said, is this my Uncle Cairo? I was like, yeah. So what she did was she gave me the number to my father, who also is out in California doing, he on his 23, he on his 23rd year in the feds. He, she, she gave me the number to my father's ex-wife. So I called my father's ex-wife, which is the mother of my sister and my, my older sister and my older brother on my father's side that live in California. Now, my sister used to hustle back in 85 and 84, right? Don't you know what my stepmother said? My stepmother said that Huey P. Newton was robbing all the drug dealers in West Oakland and they murdered him at 4 o'clock in the morning. Huey P. Newton. Huey P. Newton is the head of the wow. Black Panther Party. She said he started smoking crack, getting high, and he was robbing all the drug dealers, and they killed him. That's how Huey P. Newton died. I thought it was Cointel Pro. You understand? Even though we know Cointel Pro brought the drugs in, and they main connect in California was Rick Ross, and Rick Ross flooded the Crips and the Bloods with the drugs, and then the drugs flooded throughout the neighborhood. But Huey started getting high and he was sticking up the drug dealers and he went to my sister house twice to buy crack and they didn't let him in. The name of this video is Crips, Bloods, Panthers, and Drugs. Featuring Brother Cairo. No doubt. Alright? No doubt. Crips, Bloods, Panthers, and, and Drugs. And that is how Huey P. Newton got murdered. Because if you listen to the Tupac song and then you do your own investigation, Tupac said two shots in the dark, now Huey's dead. I got love for my brothers, but we can never go nowhere because we don't share with one another. Hmm. You understand? So things like that you got to pay attention to and you got to make sure you can't be doped up, nigga, and you trying to fucking figure out what happened in the past because if you know your past, then you're going to know your future. If you have no regard for the past, you ain't going nowhere, idiot. Respect, respect. You ain't going nowhere. You got to know the secrets on what the fuck happened. So that way, when they step to you today, you already know and you can correct them and let them know where they wrong at. And then they got to pay you. Hmm. That's how you're going to get your money. If you don't know where they went wrong and you don't know where you went wrong, then you ain't got no knowledge and you can't say nothing but shut up and take a back seat. Now be quiet, or you're going to get off drugs, you're going to pay attention, you're going to read some books, you're going to investigate, you understand, and you're going to do some research, and you're going to find out the truth. And then when you present it with the lie, you're going to correct it. One question. Yesterday you had a question about George Jackson. I want you to reiterate your question because according to your research so far, you've only gotten but so far in your research into the George Jackson situation. Can you reiterate your question so that maybe somebody on, in YouTube land could address that for you? 